Welcome back to Therani, I'm Joe B. Today we'll be talking about the joint range of motion that occurs at the hip, knee, and ankle during gait cycle. Let's dive in. Gait cycle is the pattern of movements that occur while walking. It starts when the heel of one foot contacts the ground and ends when that same heel contacts the ground again. It has two faces. The stance face where the foot is in contact with the ground and the swing face where the foot is in the air. Let's go over the stance face hip, knee, and ankle joint range of motions first. Your stance face has five sub-faces. The first one is the initial contact, also known as the heel strike, in which the heel first touches the ground. If you take a snapshot of this face, there is 20 degrees of hip flexion, zero degrees of knee extension, and ankle in neutral position. After the initial contact, we proceed to the loading response, also known as foot flat which starts when the whole foot contacts the ground and ends when the opposite foot comes off the ground. Here, there is 20 degrees of hip flexion, 15 degrees of knee flexion, and five degrees of ankle plantar flexion. After the loading response, there is mid stance, which starts when the opposite toe comes off the ground and ends when the heel comes off the ground of the lead leg. The hip here is in neutral, while the knee is five degrees flexed, and the ankle is also five degrees dorsiflexed. After the mid stance comes the terminal stance. It starts when the heel rises off the floor and ends when the opposite heel strikes the ground. The hip here is in 15 degrees of hip hyperextension, the knee joint is in a neutral position, and the ankle joint is in a neutral position as well. The final subface of the stance face is the pre-swing. This starts when the opposite heel contacts the ground and ends at toe off. The hip is still in 15 degrees of hyperextension, while the knee flexes to 30 degrees, and the ankle plantar flexes to 20 degrees. The swing face, where the foot is off the ground, is further subdivided into three sub-phases. These are the initial swing that starts at toe off and ends when the swing leg is parallel to the stance leg. The hip here is flexed 20 degrees, the knee is flexed 60 degrees, while the ankle is plantar flexed 10 degrees. Then we get to the mid-swing where the thigh reaches its peak advancement. Here, the hip is flexed greater up to 30 degrees. The knee is also flexed 30 degrees while the ankle is in neutral. Finally, the terminal swing occurs when the swing foot passes the stance leg and ends when the swing leg, specifically the heel, contacts the ground. Here, the hip is still flexed 30 degrees while the knee and ankle are in neutral. This is also the end of the swing phase, and the stance phase starts again through initial contact. So if you want to know how the hip, knee, and ankle joints glide during the gait cycle, then this video should give you that information. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.